And I have to say that these days, I'm not merely worried about my ability to do that and my fellow patriots to be able to do that. I'm terrified. I've witnessed friends and allies stripped of their platforms and their reputations and their voices. Some can no longer communicate on social media. When I planted my little flag in the social media world on the internet almost 20 years ago, I never thought that I'd have to wake up one day and wonder if my entire website was going to be unplugged because of an opinion that I expressed. And yet, there are many of my friends and allies, your compatriots, who not only can no longer communicate on social media, on Twitter, on Facebook, or Instagram, but who also can no longer gather peacefully at hotel conferences to discuss their ideas. Still others are now forbidden from doing business with their banks, their payment processors, online retailers, and even ride-sharing services. There is no more safe space that we can feel that we are guaranteed the right to communicate our ideas with each other, not in restaurants, not at homes. And you've seen over the last couple of years since Donald Trump took office that there are many elected officials in Washington, D.C., who can no longer walk on the streets without a threat or risk of violence to themselves or their families. 